Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 17th, 2018. So Friday, I was gone from my daughter's uh, graduation, and, and my goodness, the market decided to get uh, pretty darn ugly on Friday, gapping down and then continuing to sell off, pushing back down here toward these lower levels of support. Now, the question is, are we going to find some support here or are we going to continue to slip on lower? Let's take a quick look at a weekly chart. And you can see in the weekly chart, if we don't catch support um, right in this area right here, if we don't grab that support, then there is the possibility of trading on lower down to test these extra levels down in here. Um, obviously, no one wants to see that unless you happen to be short. We don't want to see the market failing, but that is certainly um, a possibility. And, and, a, and a test down in here would certainly... Um, uh, be kind of a brutal, uh, uh, a brutal uh, sell-off to get down there. So watch that closely. However, taking a look at this, we do have that chance that we could catch some support here. Now, last night the the futures, the Dow futures, um, were trading slightly higher as uh, Asian markets were looking up. So as we approach this level down here and the fact that we are showing a short term oversold condition in the market, um, we also want to take the opportunity to <clears throat> to notice that we could catch a bounce in here today. So is it all gloom and doom? No, we are certainly in a very bearish situ situation, but don't... Um, uh, just be automatically thinking that there is no potential upside in the market because with the futures having been up last night about 70 points uh, <clears throat> during the night at one point, it wouldn't be all that unreasonable to think that we catch an oversold bounce and maybe rally up to test the overnight lows in the Dow futures. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, certainly bearish. There's no reason to be thinking that um, we're going to have a major recovery anytime soon. And remember, everything that's happening here is is a um, big reality check, I guess, on all the political uncertainty that's out there. First, we have the China tra trade war. But this week, we get a couple of major extra doses into that um, uncertainty. First, we have the FOMC meeting on Wednesday afternoon. Um, um, they make their decision on rate increase. Will they or will they not um, increase rates in December? It would seem unlikely time for them to be increasing rates, but they had originally expected to do that. So there's some uncertainty there. What are they going to do? We'll find out Wednesday afternoon. And also keep in mind, this is one of those FOMC meetings where they produce the FOMC forecast, which can certainly um, change how the market perceives uh, the direction of the FOMC. So kind of keep that in mind. Wednesday will be a big day. So it's entirely possible, even though the market has been extremely volatile, that we could see the market become light and choppy as we wait for that FOMC decision. So um, we have a downside potential. We certainly have an upside potential. And with that FOMC, um, I think anything is possible and we could see some of that whippy uh, price action as well. So as you plan your week forward, just um, remember to stay very, very disciplined to your rules and stay focused on that price action and realize we could be um, just one news report away from that next reversal uh, in the market. So whether that be up or down. So be a little bit careful and cautious um, this week. Then on Friday, we have the potential of a government shutdown. Obviously, 
market's not going to like that if we go that direction. Uh, sticking point happens to be, you know, the border wall between Congress and the president trying to uh, get that resolved. You know, um, you couldn't pick a more contentious uh, topic to close the government down. So, golly, you know, anything is possible here. And certainly um, we'll have to um, kind of stay on our toes because that will likely affect the overall psyche of the market as we head toward the weekend. Let's take a quick look at the SPY, SPY. Oops. SPY doing a very similar thing. You can see we have some major support down in here um, that we could certainly test. This morning, the market is looking at a slight gap down. Nothing major, but it is gapping down. And if we were to take a look at this on a weekly, you can see this is a significant level of support down in here on the SPY. So if we do push down there, which seems pretty rather likely um, uh, the possibility exists. Keep in mind that we could also see that bounce off of this area just from that short-term oversold condition right now. Now keep in mind if we start to rally we just have tons and tons. And this goes for the Dow as well. We have tons and tons of resistance zones in here that are already established so we have a lot of work to come back up. But um, that downside move and the potential of a bounce is, is where we want to be focused um, um, for the very short term here. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the queues have held up better. Let's notice real quick, quickly, even though that we've sold off, let's notice that there is a slight little uptrend right there. If the queues were to catch a bounce in here that would hold on to that little uptrend and could possibly um, give us some really good signs or clues in the market as you can see i have a downtrend here um, marked on the chart and you can see that downtrend if i adjust it, this just a little bit could be either right in here in any rally up here we would watch for that resistance to occur we also have a resistance level right through here and certainly a big one right in here so lots of resistance above and then keep in mind we're not done with that downtrend resistance until we really break through there so keep that in mind now right in here there is a little level of support. It's not a strong support, but there is a little level of support in here. So um, this morning, watch this right in here for, for the possibility of that bounce, and that um, corresponds with that little bitty uptrend right there. Let's take a look at the IWM. Now, poor IWM is in a serious situation here. IWM, um, small caps breaking lower, um, as you can see, and they did it on a, 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 a really good technical pattern here. We we broke down through this price support, rally back to it, failed at resistance. And so I would expect the next test of support um, down in here um, to occur now you could really draw this line in a lot of different places i chose to take this right off of these lows right here but you can see there's multiple levels in here where we could find some support in that area if we look at the weekly you can see that this line that i chose really corresponds with a significant level of touches right through here of the price action so a test down in here seems very very likely to occur but then once again we are so close to that we should um, be watchful of that potential bounce Okay, so stay focused on that. Please keep in mind that the news reports continue to swirl around. And anytime we have political uncertainty like this, the market becomes very volatile, very difficult to trade. I don't expect that to, tr to change. I think the, the uncertainty is going to keep us on the edge of our seat for a while. And those news reports could swing us in either direction very, very quickly. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. The VIX um, holding up, and um, that's not what we want to see it do. We're, we're, we're having this show a little bit of a higher low in here possibility. And with a little fear, um, we could easily start pushing this back higher. So watch this level up here. 
watch this right in here. If we were to break out of here, panic would likely set into the market and we could see a, a very rough sell off. If we can hold in this range between this support and resistance level and continue to chop around in here, we should be okay. Um, even though there may be more selling, uh, fear will remain at least slightly in check. Obviously, what I want to see is I want to see that fear start to subside and us moving back down toward this next support level in here. Uh, but so far, no clues that that's going to happen anytime soon. Let's take a look at T21. 22. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see this, this is a very, very consistent um, indicator. When we are down in this area right in here, we tend to get that bullish reversal bounce. And uh, obviously when we're up in this range we get that bearish reversal bounce so you can see we're we're down in here now this doesn't necessarily mean we have to immediately spike up and what I don't want to see is us continuing this crazy volatility giving these big daily spikes in here that all we end up doing is creating more opportunities for sell-off we want to start seeing this calm down and get more of a steady climb up out of this area. So we are down here in that bullish reversal zone, which gives me a little bit of lean to the fact that we may be reaching uh, that at least very short term uh, bottom situation and the possibility of a rally occurring here in the next couple of days so watch that closely let's um go back over here and let's take a look at the economic calendar today the economic calendar we have a few things here to pay attention to today we have empire state manufacturing um, at 8 30 a.m this morning and then a housing market index at 10 o'clock a.m. this morning. Other than that, not too much going on here. We do have a treasury budget at four, but I wouldn't expect that to move the market around at all. And we do have some bond auctions today to uh, make note of. Um, the big news, obviously, this week, it will be coming in here. We do have housing starts tomorrow, but the big news is going to, our day is going to be existing home sales, petroleum status report, the big granddaddy of them all, FOMC meeting, the forecast, and the Fed chair. So after we kind of um, move through some of this morning um, emotion, we could see the market kind of become light and choppy as we're waiting for this news so watch that closely hey everyone if this is the first time you've seen this information first time you've seen um, any anything um, from um, right way options please do me a favor click on that subscribe button on youtube the follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment you guys have just been fantastic about um, clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments thank you so much it helps those algorithms show these videos to more people you guys are the best and i truly truly thank you for um all your help and support in that area you guys are awesome please keep in mind that i do these videos uh, as a free service. Um, I don't intend to make money from these videos. It's to help other traders um, take a real close look at that market, try to set aside that bias on how the market may trade today and help you preparing for your day ahead. So with that in mind, let me show you a couple ideas for uh, potential trades. Now, if you're looking for long trades right now, we're certainly downtrending. We should be thinking short, but if you're, if you're thinking that we could catch a bounce or something like that, there are a few places that you could look. Um, take a look at MTCH. Now MTCH, um, just coming up out of a bottom here we've we've had this downtrend going on in this chart but notice that we're rallying here on mtch and we'll want to watch that really closely 
closely. Now, we do have resistance levels to be concerned about, and we're really right there. So I wouldn't suggest that this is just right, uh, ripe and ready at this very moment to take on that trade, but maybe one to watch. A better chart that's looking really nice in its trend is DM. DM looking very, very good here, breaking through a major resistance point, rallying, consolidating, moving over toward its trend, and on on Friday put in a bullish engulfing candle that looks pretty darn good you might want to watch that utilities is another great place to be looking for those bullish trades they're staying very very strong and looking good here so we have a nice bullish trend going on here in AES and there are going to be several of those um, um, bullish looking charts in that utility sector if you're looking for something there so kind of keep an eye on that on the short side of thing th things there are um several charts to be made aware of um, but I'm only going to show you one or two here right now you can you can see right here on UAL UAL um, uh, dropping through support rallying back to test resistance now Friday it had an interesting pop up but um, I would suggest that UAL is certainly looking like the possibility of testing this level down in here and if we look at the moving averages you can see this would be a failure of the 50-day moving average and that test lower certainly looks like a possibility um, so there's lots and lots of charts uh, you know that have potential short setups uh, going along you don't have to look very far to look for them so that's this is the one I'm going to point out for today so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these make sure and click those thumbs up buttons and and drop a comment thank you so much for doing that everyone take care have an awesome awesome day and we'll talk to you all bright and early tuesday morning take care everyone